Welcome to the Tower Update for February 2015. I'm your host, Daniel Whittington. Thank you for your cares and concerns. I have had help staying strong on my vow to stop drinking coffee. I think I've done pretty well for myself, but uh, you know, I'll let you be the judge. In March, we've got some pretty incredible classes coming up and a very specific opportunity that I want you to pay attention to. So first things first, March 4th and 5th is Public Speaking 101. That's a class that Steve Ray and Roy Williams teach. We weren't able to hold it last year because Steve Ray was too busy gallivanting around the world being awesome. But this year he managed to carve some time out of his schedule and we're gonna hold Public Speaking 101. That's a great class. Anyone who's attended has raved about it. Uh, there's still a few rooms left on campus. Let me know if you want to attend. Now this is important. Are you paying attention? On March 19th and 20th, we are holding Portals and the 12 Languages of the Mind, which is a class taught by Roy Williams meant to expand your brain. Now, here's the key part. It's gonna be held a Wednesday and a Thursday, and it also happens to fall right in the middle of South by Southwest. If you haven't heard of South by Southwest, do yourself a favor, Google it. If you sign up and attend the class on March 19th and 20th, we will allow you to stay on campus all the way through Monday morning after South by Southwest is over. If you've looked up the costs of hotels in Austin during South by Southwest, you'll know that the average is somewhere between two and $500 a night, and it sells out about six months in advance. So if you would like to attend the class on a Wednesday and Thursday, and then stick around to hang out at South by Southwest over that following weekend, you may remain in your room on campus all the way through Monday morning. I'm guessing this is gonna fill up pretty quickly, so let me know if you wanna be a part of this one and we'll get you a room before they sell out. All right, this month's featured sketch is Deanston 12. Now, Deanston is a Lower Highland single malt whiskey. Uh, I feature it not because it was a gift from anyone, but more as a plug for the five region tour of Scotland that we do the first night after class, every class. Uh, this is the whiskey that I use to show an example of what a really amazing and unique Highland can taste like. Uh, Deanston is surrounded by heather fields, and so all the water that runs through the fields of heather collects in the river, and that's the water they use to water the scotch. So Deanston is a truly wonderful highland. It has notes of honeysuckle and kind of floral plant. It's really interesting. It's completely different than any highland single malt you've probably tasted. So here's to the tour of Scotland. May it never be more than a few months away from your schedule. <laughs> 